Hello and welcome to Free Loudspeaker Plan website. This is the video tutorial automation level 4. Let's keep pushing the integration between FreeCAD and HornRasp, trying to speed up as much as possible our simulations. For this example, I changed the loudspeaker model. Now we are using the manifold and we will introduce the last macro file, the one for Sketch. So until now, to change some dimensions, we need to go to the main sketch or we need to go to the spreadsheet. So we open the sketch. So let me say the current flare is 15 degrees. And I, if I want to change it, let me put 20 degrees. So the mouth increase the size. We close. The spreadsheets will update the values and we are OK to export a new TXT data for on RASP. But this takes some time. So with the last macro, the macro that has the sketch in the name, you can click on it, edit. And now we can change the sketch just using a command line. So we change the angle from 50 degrees to 20 degrees, right? So let's back there for you to remember. Now the angle is 20. OK. And in this macro, I'm asking the angle to be 15. So let me run the macro. The macro was run it and it was complete. Let me back to the sketch. Can you see that the angle back to the 15 degrees? So it means that to change the sketch, we don't need to go inside the sketch. So let me take you another instance, another example. The cab internal widity, currently it has 55 centimeters widity. Let me go to the sketch file i will define the widget not as 55 but as 50 and i will run the macro the macro just finished sketch updated i go to the spreadsheet and as you can see the macro changed the value of the spreadsheet so this is very useful tool because it saves a lot of time you don't need to go inside the spreadsheet or inside the sketch to change those values so i can change here i can reduce let's reduce the wood thickness from 18 to 15. let's reduce the baffle to 840 Let's change the driver position from 250 to 220. Let's increase the height of our loudspeaker. Let's change L1 value from 100 to 120. I mean, we can change whenever value we want in the inputs. And if I run the sketch, the values will be adjusted. As we can see here, the thickness wood was changed, the buffle size was changed, the position of the driver was changed with just a single click. And now, once I changed the dimensions. I can also open the macro with no dialog, the same we saw in the level three. I can run it, and here we go. It generates for me the manifold TXT file to be imported in the Horn Rasp. So, this is a very cool idea. I hope this can save you a lot of time during the simulation process. 
and also in the modeling process when you are trying to optimize your loudspeaker for a specific driver.